producing sundials, sculptures and water features for 20 years now. The first piece I made was an armillary and I was lucky enough to sell it, which effectively got us going, or got me going, and the business has grown ever since. The armillary, based on a 250 AD design, We've embellished it and evolved it, and it really is one of our signature pieces. We make it in a range of sizes, all very much tailored to the client's requirements. Different materials, stainless steel, bronze, brass, they are destined to be around for hundreds if not thousands of years. The dials have worked as the backbone of our business. Sundials are always a marriage of art and science. The mathematics that decree how a sundial works is very strict and cannot be compromised. So one has to apply oneself to the process of, of converting raw maths into an elegant piece. We were creating sculptural pieces with a sundial element and there came a point that the sundial element ceased to be of relevance or important to that particular client and it, it was therefore a purely a sculptural piece. It was a, a very exciting departure. I still love and adore my sundials, but I'm excited by the freedom of pure sculpture. Having worked for 20 years now with sundials and, and free sculptural pieces. We have, on occasions, included water with a sundial. We've also worked with sculptural pieces, adding a water element. It's one thing to make a, a piece that functions, but the, the joy is to, to make it really beautiful and sculptural in its own right as well. originally by myself, then with a small team of two or three. That's grown with incredible different skill sets, whether it's welding, etching, gold leafing. I'm very lucky that I've got a team around me that allow us to have a very broad range of skills, but all under one roof in our workshops uh, studios in Oxfordshire. With all the pieces that we produce, they are effectively bespoke. They are made to order for the client. We don't carry a stock, we don't make things in advance. It's incredibly important that we visit the site to work out any technical problems, to work out what the mood of the site is, what the style of the site, and the desires of the client. What we'll try and do is extract from the client what they're hoping for, that it, in terms of whether it wants to harmonise with what's there or become a statement, a bold statement in its own right. 